So this is uh, Majestic Knights, as you can see. This is a game I got uh, in a bundle uh, a few months ago. It certainly wasn't the game I was after the bundle for. I'll start a new game. I'll overwrite my uh, previous progress. I've not really gone very far in it. About uh, three scenes in. We'll go for easy. Yes, I've got it in a bundle, and when it was in the bundle, it was a Windows only game. Um, much to my surprise, uh, they they announced the availability of a Linux beta last week, and uh, since I already had it, I volunteered to give it a test. On the whole, it's worked quite well. Um, the game is is uh, set in the 80s. It's got this nice uh, cell shaded style. It's essentially an isometric adventure game. Uh, a bit like Shadowrun, except without the RPG elements. So, your character is this card holder dude who's been lying awake for his previous compatriot. Let's uh, go for the NSA. So this beardy guy is a bit of a conspiracy theorist and uh, card holder. This card holder is a, a former conspiracist, basically. So what we're doing is uh, we're investigating the office uh, for his old stuff. There's some, uh, you know, Michaela comic on moments. Tin foil hats and all that. find the secret room. There we go. So some of the dialogue clearly you've not actually got any choice. But it, uh, it makes you talk about it anyway. I've received the MK Ultra Up document. So I think, uh, depending on which conspiracy you discuss with him at the start, you get a different document out of the safe. Anyway. Let's ask what he's been doing. Old Comi Connections. I've received some evidence. Apollo. So let's tell about Kennedy being shot. to uh, put uh, fuel on the flames. Hyper perspicacity. I can say big words, mate. Let's leave. So that's the end of that, that section. Now, I'm using a controller to play the game. You can play with keyboard and mouse. I tried that, and uh, especially when you get to this bit, it's quite awkward because the uh, you know the movement arrows are mapped to uh, up, down, left, and right, whereas the 
the uh, obviously it's an isometric perspective. An isometric perspective where you actually want to go is diagonal. So to walk in a straight line using the keyboard, you have to press two keys at once, which which I found a tad annoying. So uh, let's open up the inventory. Just just for us, what have we got? Lock picks, some cash, a pinky ring. I've not got any weapons yet. Talk to my neighbour. He's got a nice Mohican. Ooh, I've received a curious parcel. Which is interesting. So different things, you get different stuff depending on what you answer. The first time I came in here, I lied to him about what I was. He took umbrage. And uh good for him. He took umbrage and I didn't get a key and I then had to sneak around the rest of the house. So now I need to search my bed for the access code and get my gun out of the bathroom all without drawing attention to myself. Let's miss the doorway there. So, although clearly there are stealth elements here, it's not the world's deepest stealth game. And that those people over there should clearly have seen me as I did that. And uh, they paid me no attention whatsoever. These doors aren't behind people. And they're just ignoring it. Which, you know... The CIA agents doesn't strike me as particularly evil, but it's just part of the game, I guess. Oops, he walked into the door. Let's go into the shadows. Let's leg it. There we go complete so this is mostly what the game is like so far there are there are puzzles sort of although they're mostly a trial and error type of thing like if you do the wrong say the wrong thing to the wrong person that more or less cuts off your options like that guy sitting on the toilet just now um, so it's not like you're figuring it out within the game. It's like you have to metagame it to actually find out what the correct answers are some of the time. So, I don't know. It's not really puzzles, I guess. Let's talk to the dealer. Let's go for a gram. Go 200 advice. Okay. So basically, I can't talk to him again now. So if I want to figure out how to get the drugs off of the dealer, I have to save the game and start again. Which means now 
in order to get in I have to uh, fight past the bouncer I'm not going to do that now um, uh, I think this this uh, could be a pretty good game I like the fact that uh, the developers after they receive the you know they receive some negative feedback after the release of chapter zero and one and instead of just pushing ahead they've basically rewritten the entire game to uh, correct some of the issues people people saw in the game and that's the main reason why it's now available for Linux so uh, it's a very stylistic adventure uh, I can see the beginnings of a story here I'm, I'm, I think I've barely scratched the surface really of the game so far if you like adventure games if you like to support uh, developers who like to support Linux you can get this game um, fairly cheaply a lot of the time wait for it to be in a sale if you don't want a fairly poor price but uh, definitely worth I think the, the 20p or something I paid for it excellent excellent value at that price uh, I, I will uh, definitely try playing it all the way through 